Good morning. Thought today we'd talk a little bit about Corio Build. Build is the CAM software we use here at Burn Tables. Um, this is what, once you've got the drawing file, the DXF, you open it in Corio Build and it generates the toolpath for you. In Build, we've got uh, all the cut parameters that have been preloaded by us, depending upon the material type, aluminum, MDF if you're running the spindle, uh, stainless steel for today's video, let's use mild steel. Uh, here's our material thickness. We're going to select half inch. And our process, this came up 105, but I'm going to want to cut it with an 85 amp. And if I click on uh, the cut parameter settings, you'll see that my kerf width is 0.09, the arc, lead in type, length, lead out. Uh, if I'm looking at more in my cut parameters, um, you can see that my feed rate is 40.5 inches per minute. Um, pierce height, all the types, cut height, all that's going to be pre-selected or, excuse me, pre-loaded by burn tables. Uh, these values are right out of hypertherm, so uh, they're all tested and we know they work pretty well. In build, we have a shape library built in, so depending upon what you're wanting to draw, we might have something that's pretty close to it. If we want to do a lifted lug, for example, um, I have the ability to modify uh, the values of this. So let's just change that to six. And you'll see here on the left side the graphical representation of the changes that I'm making. Change that, uh, make that a seven. For height, the shoulder height of three. Hole diameter set at two. If we want to make that a three inch, we can. And the radius, let's make that 2.5 so we've got a little bit more beef at that. Import that file. Close. Uh, build also gives us the ability to auto nest. So let's just say I want to use 12 of these. Lifted lugs, 85 half inch plate. Next. Gives me a nice tight nest. Um, I can adjust my tuning or my nest if I need a tighter nest. Um, and I did the material cut off at the end so you can see that it actually it's going to cut these parts and then it's going to cut this straight line here so I've got a nice rectangular piece to work it with in the next part. Um, have the ability to look at the points, the start points if you want. You can zoom in. You can see that we've got a center pierce on the circles here and we're an outside pierce there. If that looks good for me, I can hit finish, lifted lug, half inch, uh, but we were running at 85. Uh, looks like this is going to take roughly 11 minutes and 17 seconds to cut generate my output. Um, because I changed the nesting, um, it gives me the opportunity to save that if I want. I suggest you don't. No need to. No, and we're ready to cut.